War Dog Squadron, this is Thunderhead. Fly to the tanker for refueling. There is an Allied squadron to the east of your position. They'll guide you to the tanker for air refueling. Good work, people. We're one step away from the enemy's capital. We can win this as long as you're with us. I can feel it. Those enemy pilots we fought today. I can't imagine how wonderful it would be to fly with them in peacetime. Yeah. War Dog, this is the 8492nd Squadron. Can you see us? It'll be an honor for us to escort you heroes. Let's go home. Yeah, but I'm still wondering what Captain Chopper was doing when... Enemy ECM! Wait a second. That escort plane. Oh, no! The 8492nd Squadron doesn't exist! Someone in the army is trying to lead us into a trap. Just like back at the stadium. Thunderhead! Thunderhead, respond! Multiple unmarked fighters inbound. Hey, is that their voice on the radio? You must destroy them. We can't let them end this war. Roger. We'll surround them and attack from all directions. The 8492nd Squadron argued to Bonnie and Spies? 
Let's hurry back home. Would it surprise you if I said that President Harling is nowhere to be found within the capital? Not really. The hardline war Osea is waging right now hardly resembles the peace policy the President was promoting. Let me guess. He disappeared just before we invaded Yuktabania, right? Exactly. My journalist friends told me that nobody's seen him enter or leave the office since. All of his decisions are communicated through the Vice President. And it gets better. A lot of the military officers that resigned over disagreement with the President's arms reduction plan have started to return to the capital. I found out something myself. That Belkin aggressor force I was telling you about. Apparently they're called the 8492nd Squadron. Also, and here's the kicker, Captain Hamilton, the adjutant base commander here, used to be assigned to the 8492nd. What? Oh, they're back. There's no point in talking to that blockhead commander. He treated our president like an idiot just because he wanted peace. What about his adjutant, Captain Hamilton? Roger that. The captain and I will go see him. Grim, you go let Jeanette and Pops know. Right. Be careful. What? Nagase and the captain went to see Hamilton? What is it? Did I do something wrong? Let's hurry. You got it. We don't have time to warn the captain and Nagase. We'll have to talk to the base commander ourselves. Coming, second lieutenant. I was just thinking about calling you over. Me? Special Forces Second Lieutenant Peter N. Beagle. Or I guess you prefer Pops. Fifteen years ago, you and Bartlett were shot down over enemy terrain. Bartlett's squadron HQ was destroyed. And all of its data was fried by Belka's magnetic pulse weaponry. When you made it back to the Allied front lines, it was Bartlett's word that convinced them that you were his squadron leader. Is that really true? Bartlett turned out to be a spy. So, who are you really? Can't prove anything about your military record. Can you? Hamilton's got the base commander deceived, too. I punched that guy's lights out. That bastard was wearing a Major's insignia on his shoulder. I don't know who it is, but someone's trying to widen the rift between the two countries and keep this war going. If Osi continues to win, then the war will be over. And they're after us to prevent that? You're kidding! You people are the pillar of morale for the entire Ocean army now. And now you know something you were better off not knowing. The President's disappearance. Listen, Pops, who exactly are you? <sighs> it's no good! They seized our planes in the hangars! Hangar C in the rear probably isn't so heavily guarded. Yeah, but over there, there's nothing but... 
will escape with my training jets. Good thing I maintain all my planes well, eh? Let's try it. Jeanette, you take the seat behind me. Excuse me, 